Hi, my name's Kim and in this video I'll show you how to make these floral bunny ear headbands. These are great for Easter parties, birthday parties or just some dressing up fun. There's wire inside the ears making them flexible and bendable and this project is a great scrap buster as it only uses small pieces of fabric. So let's get started. So here's everything we're going to need to make one headband. We've got four pieces of plain fabric for the ears and two pieces of wadding. And then we've got two pieces of fabric for the inner ears and this is bonder web to stick the ears to the outer. There's two strips for the headband and a piece of wadding and the lace, I've got crocheted lace or you could use ribbon as well. I'll leave all the measurements in the description and there'll be a link to the templates for the ears as well there. And then finally we have some foliage with some roses and we're just going to break off pieces of this to glue onto the headband. So we're going to fuse two outer ear pieces to two pieces of wadding. And then I've just cut two pieces of the bonder web to fit the size of the smaller inner ears and then we'll fuse those onto the back. So once they're fused we can take off the backing and that leaves like a sticky layer on the back of the fabric. So we can place that into the centre of one ear and then when we use our iron on top that will stick to the ear. So same with the other. Now you can leave it like that because that isn't going to fray or come off but I'm going to do a really small zigzag stitch just around the edge and that will give it a little bit more shape. So I'm using quite a narrow stitch and then I'll just sew around the edge. And you can see that's just giving it a really neat finish. So I'll do the same with the other. So there we go. And now we're going to take our two backing pieces of the outer ear and we're going to place those right sides together on top. And I'm going to sew all around the edge, just leaving the bottom part open. Like so. And I'll repeat with the other one. And then through this hole at the bottom, we're just going to turn to the right side out. And it was a bit of a squeeze, but there's the other. And then we'll just give those a quick press with the iron. To make the band you'll need your two strips of fabric and we're going to fuse one of the strips to the wadding. Once that's fused we're going to add our ties. So like I said I've used lace crochet for this, you could use ribbons if you'd like. So I'm just going to place that in the centre on each side facing inwards, right sides together and put a little stitch just on the edge. And then I'll do the same on the other side with the other piece. So just right in the centre and just stitch that in place. So now we're going to take our second strip of fabric and put that right sides together with the first and I'm just going to pin that in place. So to make sure we're not catching 
our ties when we sew this together I'm just going to place them towards the center and then coming out of the bottom because we're going to leave a turning gap here so if these are sticking out the bottom they'll also help us to turn the whole thing out so I'm going to start right here and again make sure you're not catching that ribbon or lace inside there my two ends are sticking out the bottom here. I'm going to sew nice and close. So now I'm just going to snip off these corners. And then we can use these two pulls just to help us to turn this the right side out. And now that's turned out, we can give that a press. And if you tuck in the hole, so pull at the two sides, tuck the fabric in and press that down flat. And now you can either hand stitch that opening closed or if you'd like you can top stitch around the entire edge. I'm just going to quickly hand sew that bottom bit closed. Time for the fun part. Now we're going to glue on the ears and we're going to glue on all the lovely flower foliage. So first of all I'm just going to find the middle of the headband which is about there. And I'll place the bunny ears just either side of that middle part. And they go down about halfway down the headband behind there. And then using a hot glue gun, I'm just going to glue those in place. And I've just got a piece of paper down just so I don't make a mess of this table. And from my green foliage, I'm just going to take off little parts of the plastic leaves that I want to use. This is one that I no longer want to use anymore so I don't mind taking it apart. So I'm just breaking off a few of these plastic twigs. And we're going to layer them all together to decorate. And I'll even break off a few of these little rosebuds as well. And once you've got a good amount, we can start to glue those on. So I'll start with the leaves, I think. And we'll just start layering those onto the headband. And don't worry about any of the strings of the hot glue, we can sort that out later. I'm just placing these on randomly as you can see. Okay, I think we'll go for the big rows in the centre. Just get some more glue. And these smaller ones I'll just place either side. I 
just going to break off a few more leaves just to fill in any gaps that I've got. So once all your glue is kind of dried that's when we can pull off all these little strings. And I'll just go back round and make sure that any splodges of glue are covered. And the tie is obviously adjustable so fit it to the child's head and when you're happy with the size you can just tie a knot in the end if you're using this lace kind of crochet and then that will stop it from fraying at the end. So I'll just do that on both sides. Don't mind my gluey fingers. And that's the headband finished. So you just tie that around the back of the head, tie it into a bow and then because we have that florist wire in the ears we can kind of bend those into a cute little shape like so. Yeah I just think that's so sweet. Perfect for Easter parties or any parties really. If you enjoyed this tutorial please press the like button and if you'd like to see more sewing projects like this then subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching, bye!